Uh, the White House's new coronavirus website, covid.gov, is up and running. Two years into the pandemic, and now we've got COVID.gov. The site meant to be a one-stop shop for everything related to COVID-19, including testing vaccines and masking. There's also a section dedicated to the Test to Treat program, which enables people to get tested and treated at the same place. Our Joe Khalil joins us live from the nation's capital to tell us more about this new program. This is fascinating to me. We are seeing fewer cases of covid I, I don't know. I've got to get the math out and the calculator out. I, it's 27,000 cases across the country, but now we're rolling out this new program now that mask mandates have been lifted? Well, government is notoriously slow, uh, but I think the idea is they want to prevent the next wave from happening and be prepared if that were to happen. But this is a major rollout and, you know, something that President Biden even touted in his State of the Union address, Adrian. The problem that we're seeing now is that some of the big pharmacies and some of the major health centers that are on this list from COVID.gov that provide these services, they tell us they actually don't provide some of these services. Some of these stores uh, weren't even aware the program existed. The idea behind test to treat is simple. Get a COVID test from your pharmacy. And if you test positive, walk out with free treatment for your symptoms. All part of the White House's new initiative to fight COVID and prevent the next wave. Today, I'm announcing the launch of COVID.gov. COVID.gov, excuse me, a one-stop shop where anyone in America can find what they need to navigate the virus. That includes tests to treat, but the rollout hasn't been perfect. Some of the nation's largest health centers and pharmacies, like CVS and Walgreens, are on board. But among the thousands of individual stores on the test-to-treat list, some aren't even aware the program exists. No, we're not. You're not? You don't test here. You don't do any testing there? Huh. No, we do not. We called a handful of locations from the COVID.gov site. Pharmacies, big and small, most had long wait times, and for others, it was even impossible to speak to anyone. For those who are more vulnerable, this is a real problem. I mean, as I mentioned in the story, um, our tax dollars have already paid for these antivirals, and so they should be available. Monica Eng, reporter for Axios, who first reported the issues with the test to treat list, says making sure these programs work is crucial especially as many states begin closing their COVID testing sites. A spokesman for CVS tells News Nation that patients can receive treatments and tests in their pharmacies' one-minute clinics. Adding, quote, we're continuing to educate our CVS pharmacy teams about this new government program. So, Adrian, we talked right off the top about sort of the slowness of government sometimes. It is reminiscent of when the Affordable Care Act website came out. Eventually, it became a functioning site. But you remember right in that rollout period, there were a whole lot of problems with it. So hopefully they iron out now this uh, COVID.gov site, some of the issues they're having quickly, because there are certainly people that are going to be relying on it uh, to try and figure out where they can get tested, Adrian. Well, it'll be the most uh, at risk among us, uh, the a small population of people who really cannot afford to get sick with anything, let alone COVID-19. Joe Coyle, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.